Hello there, and welcome to Five Figures. Today, well, today I'm looking at some shit. These are DC icons. Now, I, I, I like a lot of DC figures, uh, but their icons line has one that I've never really been that crazy about. I have developed, you know, I've got a few of them in the collection, and it's there's some major issues with these figures. And I just want to talk about it real quick, because it's kind of even surprising. Um, first off, I'm going to look at Frost here, and your articulation on these is all pretty much the same. You've just got an arm that either rotates, it doesn't have a ball hinge, uh, some of them do, most of them don't, an elbow joint, wrist rotation, and like the crappiest thigh cut you could possibly do, and then a knee that doesn't do anything hardly else either. You often get a rotating boot, but that's about it. So the figure doesn't move very much. It only moves that far forward, only kicks about that much. They're not super poseable. I get that. Some figures aren't. I can live with that. Um, they are sculpted very well, and Frost here is a great example of that. Um, not a figure I'm mad at. It was, it was cheap. Another one that I'm not mad at was this uh, Starfire. She has a ball joint on the shoulder, but that's the only difference. Um, everything else is the same. Very, very limited articulation of the legs, and I'm being going to be very careful, and I'm going to explain why, because that's the part that really torques me on these figures. Um, it's not that they don't move very well. I mean, there's figures that don't move very well. I can accept that, but they have some major issues with the way they were designed. If I can get her to stand. Okay. Blue Devil here. I am not even positive. I'm not sure exactly what line he was from, but the way his hips and everything else moves, I'm pretty sure he was DC icons. But he's got a lot more articulation in the arms. And you know what? I'm going to give him a pass. He is overall, he is an absolutely amazing figure. Just color-wise, he really pops. He's got a little ab crunch and everything like that. That's not the problem I'm having. The problem I have has reappeared with several figures. Um, this is, what is her name? I can't remember exactly. It's super something, but um, Wonder, I can't remember if it's super, it's not Superwoman. I can't remember. This is fresh out of the package. This is me opening the package. Arm falls off, leg snaps off. This has been, this was sealed. This is out of the package. Um, I bought this from a friend at a garage sale. He sold it to me real cheap, it was five bucks, and literally, like removing it from the package, it just shattered apart. It was in a sealed clamshell, and I got to thinking, I was like, this seems awfully fragile, and if you look in there, there's your problem. Um, they used clear acrylic joints and plastic, and that is not, it's just so brittle it just shatters, and they've done that with all of these, and even if they paint them, um, like like if you look her arm joint and stuff it's painted like her, her leg there it's painted blue it's painted red like it's like it's plastic or like it's the same material that this is it's not it's clear um, just clear hardened acrylic plastic and it just shatters so anyway this is fresh out of the package and that's pretty much standard yep go ahead and fall over I'm surprised your leg didn't break because, I mean, I have the exact same issue happened with my uh, Catwoman here. Now, this was a very expensive figure to buy on the secondary market. It's a highly desirable figure just because she's awesome. This is one of her best suits. I haven't really made, like, a lot of these. I'm just going to knock everybody down so I don't fall over. But uh, this was a figure that, I mean, I got it and immediately leg snaps off. This time, it's made of regular plastic, but this upper part is all is all hardened acrylic, and it just shatters. So, I don't know what they were thinking with these. They barely move, and they shatter when you try to move them. And I think that makes a crappy figure. I'm almost afraid to move anything else on them. So, unless you're planning on getting them and gluing them in a solid pile, in a solid one-piece thing... Your, your DC icons 
are going to end up doing this. And that makes me sad. Anyway, that's my story. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.